How's it going, everyone? Welcome back. Hopefully, everyone is having a lovely day. So, Ellie De La Cruz, uh, the Reds' top prospect, MLB's top prospect now, the number one ranked prospect according to ESPN as of late. Uh, the recently released list that is by ESPN and Ellie De La Cruz. There's been a lot of talk. There's been a lot of talk about this guy, the 21 year old stud for the Cincinnati Reds. Um, potentially being one of the next biggest stars in the league, a five tool player caliber of guy has been just absolutely obliterating the baseball lately. The last month, batting 322, uh, 439 on base percentage, seven stolen bases, eight home runs. And he's been impressive to say the very least. Uh, a crazy stat here. There's been 10 baseballs hit. 117 miles an hour plus this season in AAA and in the majors. Three of those have been hit by Ellie De La Cruz. Um, fun stat, I guess. It doesn't it doesn't really. I mean, it does mean something because the guy's bat speed's ridiculous. He's proven he's got some power there. And he's only going to get uh, as a guy that's 21. He's only going to build more strength in that department. But fun stat there. The question I think a lot of us are asking is, what? When are the Reds going to call this guy up to the major leagues? Uh, we've heard a lot of talk. A lot of people are like, hey, we're going to see him June 2nd, June 3rd. Just a bunch of speculation. Might be the All-Star break. Might be the end of June. Uh, there's a couple things you really question if you're the Reds. I mean, obviously, you think this guy's playing stellar. You think this guy, there's obviously a spot for this guy in this lineup. you got a bunch of guys that are, you, you, don't have any, you don't have anybody locked down on this roster to say, okay, he doesn't have a spot in this roster. You're going to find a spot for him. He's your, he's your top prospect. There's somewhere he's going to play somewhere. It'll be second, gonna be, or going to be short, going to be third. Wherever he's got to go, there's a spot. That's not an issue. Uh, the question is, when you have a guy that's 21 years old, you don't want to get overexcited. You don't want to rush this guy into the league and put him in a position he's not quite ready for if you do not absolutely have to. The Reds are not in a position to win a lot of games this season. Uh, they're, they can be competitive. They can be fun to watch, but they're not going to be a, they're not going to be a playoff contender. I think we all know that. And they, maybe next year, maybe the year after that, it depends how quickly these guys blossom that are these young guys in this team, how the, the starting rotation can figure things out. Nonetheless... That reason, you say, there's no reason. There, there's no reason at all for the Reds to rush this guy into the majors. And if you can be cautious and make sure he's got everything figured out, I mean, you want to do that. Sure, we want to see him play. We'd love to see this. You, you want it, When you hear about young phenoms, young studs, you got a top prospect in a system, you want to see him play. But you don't want to put him in a position where he's not major league ready. He's still trying to figure some things out. Is he chasing too many pitches still? Is there a weakness in a certain area? And I think... Last season, you say, okay, he was balanced. You know, he's batting uh, 312 against the right heat, uh, right-handed right pitchers as a lefty with the member that as well. I mean, the guy's 21. And not only is he figuring things out as a hitter, as a 21-year-old, which is obviously difficult, he's trying to figure things out as a switch hitter. And you talk about something that is an absolute, absolute rarity to have a guy that, I mean, you think Chipper Jones and I, you really don't think of too many other guys. It's a rarity in today's day and age to have a guy that can bat switch and be dominant on both sides of the plate. And it again, you you would assume that's something. Just shows how gifted this guy is, how talented he is, something to love about him. It's something that takes some time to develop. But nonetheless, uh, as he was getting, he batted 312 against right-handed pitchers last season as a left-handed batter. This season, De La Cruz is batting 220 against right-handed pitchers as a left-handed handed batter he's absolutely torching left-handed pitching though uh batting what 432 on the season something reds fans i, I tell you i love to hear i i i can the nightmares i don't know how else to put it i can think about them though <laughs> the reds facing a left-handed pitcher on a mound and they're just thanks for playing how many years have we seen out of the reds where they just could not hit left-handed hitters and you got a guy like this that can, that's proven he can do it I mean, that's exciting to me it pumps me up but there obviously he's dominating the lefties. He's struggling against the righties right now. He's had a very good last month. The first month of the season, you know, he was all right. He was solid, but he wasn't by any stretch of the imagination tearing the cover off the baseball. So I think when you're a fan, you see the way he's playing, you see the way other teams and announcers are talking about this guy and the talent he's going to be. It's like, yeah, you want to pull the trigger on that quickly, but you don't want to pull it too quickly. I mean, you're going to see mostly right-handed pitchers in the majors. and You want to make sure he's got that figured out. You want him to come in here with as much confidence as possible. You want to make sure he's playing the best he possibly can. And 
I'd like to see that particular area, you know, balance that. I'd like to see him come up a little bit more in that before he brought him into the majors. I think, again, I think it's something that happens. He does. He's proven he can do it from both sides. But, again, you certainly want to make sure he's got those kinks worked out in the minors before you throw him up there against guys throwing 100 consistently, uh, making $25 million a year. You know, and that's my thing on it. And my other concern about it is, hey, boy, you don't fire David Bell right off the bat if he does it. But he, he's proven time and time again. He loves to play the numbers analytically wise. Like, oh, this guy can't hit the lefties. We're not going to play him. He can't hit the righties. We're not going to play him. To his young players. And boy, you cannot. I repeat, you cannot be doing that with prospects of his caliber and saying, hey, well, he's been struggling against the righties this season, so we're going to give him more days off. He's going to play half the games. Or, hey, he's been struggling against the lefties. Not his case, obviously. We're going to give him those games off. So I think that's important, too, is if this guy's coming to the majors, he's going to play every single day. There's no shaking up the lineup. There's no question. There's no this guy needs some days off. Now, he's 21 years old. He can have two or three days off at most the entire season. He don't need to. He, that's it. We're good. It, I don't know how else to put it. The guy's capable of it. He's got to play through it. Uh, that's my other concern. But I mean, the, the sky is the limit for this guy. And that's it. You just you just don't want to rush into this as exciting as he is of a player and as exciting as it is to think about this guy's potential and abilities for this baseball team. We'll see. Um, I'm still saying maybe you get to the halfway point. I, again, it'd be sweet to see him come up right now and play. The last thing you want to do is bring him up too early and say, all right, let's set him back down. Let him play, play, get a few more ABs. We'll see, though. We'll see where, this, we'll see where the organization is. I mean, I ain't against it. I ain't against him coming up and playing in a week or two. I mean, what, he's hot. Let him do it. We'll see what happens. Patience, though. I'll give you guys' thoughts. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.